And now sports with Chris Dewar from the Little Jess Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram Sports Desk. And so begins the most telling 48 hours of Quincy Notre Dame's volleyball season to date at this point. Southeastern tonight at the pit. Coming up tomorrow, undefeated Macomb. First test first. And Southeastern, at least in the early going, gave Quincy Notre Dame all they could handle in set number one. Everybody looking forward to this one. And away we go with Morgan Wilcox with the big block at the net, trying to set the tone for the Suns. Then it's Savannah Ramsey serving up the A. Southeastern with a 6-1 to one lead early. Nora Wiley and Quincy Notre Dame trying to reverse polarity quickly in this one. And Miss Wiley. Wiley gets the set from Annie Eaton, and Miss Wiley throws down hard at that point. And then it's time for Eva Breckenkamp to do her thing. Nice little spike action right at the get start right there. And all of a sudden, QD is in the lead at 7 to 5. QD now with their first big lead at 8 to 7. A block from Wilcox ties it back up at. Eight to seven at that point. Here's Q and D pull it away. Breckenkamp with the spike makes it ten to eight in favor of the Lady Raiders. Then how about the tippage at the uh, net right there by Lauren Hummel? Quincy Notre Dame now up 16 to 10 at this point. More to come right here. It's Nora Wiley time as well, extending the Q&D lead to 18 to 10. Madeline Boyer going to step up wearing a little different jersey tonight, but letting fly in this one nicely with a big time kill as well. And then it's Miss Breckenkamp doing the block action. 24-18 at this point. Quincy Notre Dame wins set number one, 25 to 19. Set number two, 25 to 13, and tunes up nicely for that showdown tomorrow night with Macomb. Speaking of the Lady Bombers, they improved to 21 and 0 on the season with the straight set win at home tonight. Early start in that one at 5 o'clock against Havana. 25-13, 25-15 is how it all shakes down there. It was Illini West with a win over BPC tonight in straight games. The Eagles of Liberty High School take down West Hancock in straight games. Up in Southeast Iowa, it was Holy Trinity in straight games over Van Buren. This marks the 20th straight season that the great Melissa Friesmeyer has won 20 total games in a season. Incredible achievement for that program. Also tonight in Southeast Iowa, Keokuk and Fort Madison go a combined 0 for 5 in their matches at the conference meet at the Wright Fieldhouse. And Hannibal sweeps his way past Kirksville tonight, three games to none. Let's do some softball today. Senior night at Paris taking on the Canton Lady Tigers in this one. And man, some great defense by the Coyotes. Check out Reese Sutton at shortstop. Absolutely Absolutely robbing Katie Gilfoyle here with that takeaway and great throw. Kennedy Ashenfelter needed little more than that. Pitching well tonight. A couple of strikeouts here in the bottom of the second to keep Canton's bats silence. And then the defensive gem of the game out in center field. Check out Sophia Crochet. Man, you can't catch this much better than that. Good stuff from her taking away extra bases from the Lady Tigers. Speaking of Sophia, Miss Crochet up at bat with a runner at second base. She drops the beautiful bunt single that just keeps rolling, puts runners at the corner, and here we go. One of my favorite names in the Trite States, Knightley Mitten. She hits one. Macy Glasgow tries to fake out the runner at third. The throw is errant. It's 1-0 in favor of Paris. Gretchen Crochet's turn now. An RBI double to deep left field extends the lead out to 2-0. Wendy Sutherland going to step up and deliver an RBI single right here, a two RBI single that takes the lead up to four to nothing. Then Emma Ashenfelter. All the runs in this game scored in this bottom of the fourth. It's five nothing Paris. That's how it would end from a great pitching performance from Kennedy Ashenfelter as Paris gets the win 5 0. Elsewhere in area softball, Centralia is the absolute deal. They shut down Monroe City's powerhouse lineup. 12 to nothing is your final in that contest. It was Sal Shelby falling to Highland Haley Winter with a home run in that contest for the Lady Cougars. Clopton shuts down Bowling Green to spoil Bowling Green senior night one to nothing. Louisiana Falls to Community R6 on the road 10 to 5 despite Maddie Chandler hitting her seventh home run of the season. We've got Mark Twain falling at North Callaway 13 to 6. Hannibal losing both ends of a doubleheader at Kirksville 14 to 1 and 18 to nothing. And Clark County tonight drops one to Macon 10 to nothing. What a night for Blythe Howell who 
who hits a fantastic home run tonight out to left field. We have soccer as well. Hannibal taking on Kirksville. First time around, tightly contested match at Kirksville. Here it's Brody Wilson to Maddox Tharp to Bodie Rollins, who's going to turn around, reverse pivot, and send one to Pearson Parker for the nifty one-timer. And Pearson is going to let fly with a nifty left-handed punch shot that made it one to nothing. And yes, it's poses and team pictures all around at that point. Got to like the celebrations. Hannibal does celebration soccer-wise better than just about anybody else. How about the corner restart here for Chase Askey? Going to find Jared Locks, Medulla Oblongata. Great piece of header work there. Made it two to nothing. Here come the Tigers, though. They're not to be daunted. They're going to try to find a way to the back end of the Hannibal defense. They will do so. And Beckett Lyons is Johnny on the spot in this particular uh, instance. Going to punch that home and have the Hannibal lead down to two to one. But Hannibal's first half was amazing. Good to see Colton Dryden back and healthy in this one. And this shot actually was hit so hard it caught me off guard. Dryden with the first of two big goals. Upper 90 in this one. How about a little Bodie Rollins? We'll celebrate him tomorrow as our student athlete of the week and deservedly so. He had a goal as well. Five first half goals including two for Colton Dryden as Hannibal beats Kirksville five to one. No goals in the second half. Quincy High School at home tonight taking care of business against Sterling. Six to nothing your final. In that contest, Andrew Brown, one of three Blue Devils with two goals. And in tennis tonight, it was Quincy Notre Dame taking down McComb in a short match, five to nothing.